interesting to know what our presidential candidates are planning to do when they win in the coming elections. Philippine Business Conference and Expo Presidential Forum was held on Thursday, November 18. Presidential bets who participated were Vice President Lenny Robredo, Manila Mayor Esco Moreno, and Senators Bongo, Manny Pacquiao, and Panfilo Laxon. Former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. was absent during the forum hosted by the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. From this forum, we will have an idea on their economic plans for their administration. The five presidentials briefly mentioned why they ran for president. Isco Moreno said, Rest assured, I'll be fearless confronting problems. I'll be loyal and faithful to every Filipino here in the country and abroad. Lenny Robredo added, I hope the Filipino people remember me as a leader who marched and worked alongside them and fought for the country they truly deserve. Bongo says, I believe the presidency is a matter of destiny. I leave my faith to God and to you, my fellow Filipinos. Ping Lakson posed a question. In any war where the stakes are high and the probability of success is tough, who would you rather turn to, Gal? Tuwing may nakikita akong mahirap, tinutusok, dinuduro po ang puso ko. So let us look at their plans. Isco Moreno plans to reduce taxes on fuel and electricity, to extend zero interest loans to micro, small, and medium enterprises, continuation of the Duterte's administration build, build, build program, modernization of the agriculture sector to reduce the need for importation, Lenny Robredo plans to earmark 216 billion pesos for cash aid to lockdown families, to allocate 100 billion peso for conditional assistance to micro, small, and medium enterprises, to raise government spending on education to 6% of gross domestic product, to increase funding on science and technology, and utilize the national ID system. Bongo plans to provide recovery packages for MSMEs and the farm sector, to extend cash aid and zero interest loans to 10 million poor households, to push for the creation of more agencies, two departments for disaster management and overseas Filipino workers. To create a local version of the United States Center for Disease Control. Ping Lakson plans to bridge any funding gaps in the universal health care program in order to stop all lockdowns. To prioritize local manufacturers in government procurement to give incentives to people to go to work, including promoting paid internship programs, to sustain infrastructure spending, but in a set realistic targets. Mani Pacquiao plans to boost employment, give free housing to informal settlers, improve healthcare services, and continue infrastructure development to give zero interest for micro, small, and medium enterprises to further slash the corporate income tax rate to a flat 15% to attract foreign investments. Absent were Bongbong Marcus and Leo D. de Guzman. But let us present some of their platforms just to give them space here. Bongbong Marcus plans to continue the Build, Build, Build program also Mula sa edukasyon at pagbubukas ng mga bagong industriya at kabuhayan, maraming bagong oportunidad ang dala ng, ng pagpapalawak ng maganda at murang internet. Carl Yudi on the rising unemployment rate. Hindi dapat pinaubaya ng gobyerno ang paglikha ng bagong trabaho sa pribadong sektor. Nakita natin ang epekto ng ganyang kalakaran. Naiipon lamang ang yamang nalilikha ng mga manggagawa sa kamay ng ilang bilyonaryong negosyante. Now you've heard the plans of the presidential candidates, but that's just only one aspect, the economy. So what are the points to consider in choosing a president? I'll be discussing this in the next episode.